Welcome to all my ornamental fish with viewers. Now today we'll be doing a video in regards to raising fish in a barrel. Want to know more? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to all our ornamental fish with viewers. Now we'll be speaking of raising fish in a barrel. Now if you are new to this channel, please remember to click the subscribe button for instant notification and more. Now raising fish in a barrel, we have chosen the plastic 55 gallon drums that you can use to raise your fishes in. One of the things we have done is to cut our barrel in two you can either cut your barrel horizontally or vertically so we have cut our barrels some horizontally and some vertically and we have decided to raise some gold mollies in our barrels now as you can see if you look closely we are showing you a couple of our barrels that we have a system line going so in each barrel we have different sizes of fish so we have the breeders at the bottom and going up we have the various sizes so as the female breeds we usually take the young ones out and put them together in one of the barrels now if you also look you must be wondering why our water is so green and one of the reasons um, for our green water is that mollies are omnivores so mollies feed on algae as well as they feed on meaty type of food so therefore having them in this green water is a plus for us and what we have realized over the years is that the molly babies grow excessively quick whenever they are in the green water we realize that we get their growth rate up much quicker in a shorter period of time whenever we wear them in green water another plus for raising your mollies in this half a barrel is that mollies usually in their natural habitats they usually are found in shallow waters now this half a barrel will allow you to mimic their natural habitat usually this would allow you to have the water at a low level as mollies are usually surface to mid dwellers now if you use this method you will certainly mimic their natural habitats along with aquatic plants now remember that our green water is filled with microorganisms so this is one of the reasons why we always find that our mollies do well in this outdoor type of environment mollies are peaceful fishes but whenever it comes on to feeding mollies are usually aggressive so therefore we have not paired them with any other fishes as yet they are usually well in a community tank that has also rosy barbs but these mollies they are very peaceful fishes but to create that natural environment which filters itself we also pair them with a couple of cherry snails and we added some aquatic plants now this outdoor setup for your mollies is one of the cheapest and easiest way to start your own little molly breeding program now if you ever decide to breed mollies or ever decide to breed ornamental fish these are one of the first fishes that you would need to actually start with as these are live bearers and they are easily bred and they are hardy so therefore growing these you will not 
be looking on electricity bill for extra filtration as the plants um, will create that type of filtration that you would need in this environment. Your snails also provide that extra level of filtration because they are such aggressive eaters they tend to have a lot of the food fall to the bottom of your setup so therefore your snails would eat up that extra food that is left at the bottom thus creating that harmonious filtration within your setup now we are going to be doing a extensive video on green water in your aquatic setup how and what's the best way to culture your green water thanks much for watching as always we do appreciate you really coming by and watching our videos Please remember to subscribe and to share and to leave a comment if there's anything that you would like us to discuss.